Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. So now that we are done with masking and isolating our cityscape, we are going to move it into our poster and we're going to take the steps needed to integrate it. Our goal will be to put this city into this poster and put it behind the mountains and change the colors to better fit the poster. So let's get started. Here's how we're going to do that. We're going to select the selection tool. Make sure that it is the path selection tool because we're going to be combining all these and the direct selection tool does not have the combine option. So path selection tool from the lower left hand corner to the upper right hand corner, click and drag so every little square is selected. Then go up to combine and press combine. Give it a moment. And now we have a perfectly combined mask. Pretty awesome. So we're going to press the V button so we can click and drag this layer into our poster. As you can see, it's huge and it's not in the right place. So we're gonna move it down here for reference or we'll just keep it right there because it looks great right there. Poster's done. No, seriously, here's what we're going to do. We're going to isolate this part of the image, the mountains, and we're going to make a separate layer. Now, you could make a separate mask, so it's a little bit more customizable, but I wanna show you a few other tools that you can use to take advantage of Photoshop. So, we're going to select the polygonal lasso tool. We're going to zoom in a little bit. We're going to make sure that our background layer is selected. Press L to get back to the lasso and we're gonna start tracing. We're gonna use this little brown area because it looks like a good point where the horizon changes. And we're going to mask all around this area. So we're gonna do it to the best of our ability. Try to make it look as realistic as possible. Try and separate where the mountains are from the back mountains. and just bear, bear with me while I go through this. And that's all we really need. We don't need to do any more than that. Now just get that little circle to combine the selection, okay? Now, now that we have it, we're going to right click and click on layer via copy. And there we go, there's our layer. It's not perfect, and as you can see, little bits have shown up, which we're going to refine later, but right now, I want to get that layer in there. So, we're gonna click V to use the selection tool. I'm going to move our city, oops, I accidentally moved that layer. We want to make sure that our cityscape layer is selected. So, we're going to move this up here, and it's obviously too big, so we're going to have, press and hold Commander Control, and press T. And then we're going to transform it. So move it over so you get the back, the corner of the image. Press and hold shift so you don't constrain the image in weird ways. And click and drag to make it smaller. Click and drag again because we want it even smaller. Small, small, small. Press V so we can select it again. And we're going to move our city over. And right about there is where it looks pretty good. But we want it behind the mountains, so we're going to click on the layer and drag it down below the copy layer that we've created. And there you go. They're right behind them now. Pretty cool. So it's integrated well, but now we need to color it in. And while the steps are very similar to the way that I colored the background as well as the sky, we're going to go through it anyways. And that'll be in the next video.